Tonight, state officials are urging caution in Colorado waterways this summer. Colorado Parks and Wildlife says this could be a record year for deaths on our lakes and our rivers. In fact, just last night, a kayaking trip down the Arkansas turned deadly in Buena Vista. CPW says a man's kayak became trapped in rapids. His group pulled him to shore, gave him CPR, but he did die. Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio shares one woman's story whose near-death experience has pushed her to advocate for safety in water. At Cherry Creek Reservoir, boaters and skiers are cooling off as Denver hits 90 for the first time this year. It was here last July 4th. It was just like one normal day. Where Brianna Cruz was just trying to enjoy the water too. And I opened my eyes and I was in the water and I was like, oh my God, my leg. And then I realized that my leg was hanging on by a tendon. While riding a jet ski, Brianna was hit by another jet ski and thrown into the water. One minute I was laughing, the next minute I was like fire flight mode. Now the Denver woman is sharing her safety story as Colorado Parks and Wildlife is raising concerns about the alarming number of early season deaths on lakes and rivers. Thank God I had a life vest on because if I didn't have that on, I wouldn't be here today. Brianna says she was able to climb back onto her jet ski and drive herself to shore before she was rushed to the hospital. After spending 12 days in the ICU and four surgeries later, doctors were able to save her leg. Now crediting her life jacket for saving her when her system was in shock. I know how to doggy paddle, but not an Olympic swimmer or anything. It takes no more than five seconds to just put on a life vest and buckle it. It's a message CPW hopes you hear too. So far this year, there have been 15 water related deaths. Last year, there were 32. And in 2022, there were a record breaking 42 deaths. Expect that mother nature is stronger than you and faster. Don't think that you can just outswim a current or outswim any sort of wind that comes your way. It may sound simple, but CPW says you can't just have your life jacket on your paddleboard or your kayak with you. You have to be wearing it for it to work. It may not be you, but it could be a friend, a sister, a brother, a cousin that can get hurt. So just be really careful out there. Claire Lavazorio, Denver 7. In Golden taking action to keep people safe from the high, fast moving water on Clear Creek. Jeffco Sheriff's Office has now banned tubing rafting and swimming in the creek. Now, kayaks, canoes, and professional raft trips are still allowed with life jackets and helmets. Now, these safety restrictions will be in effect until the water levels drop. Meanwhile, the city of Aurora is reducing hours and banning alcohol at the Aurora Reservoir indefinitely, citing safety concerns. The reservoir normally closes at 930 at night. Now it'll close at six on weekends. This change comes just days after deputies arrested two men at Cherry Creek State Park. Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office says someone shot off a gun Sunday night. No one was injured. 